Hi Let's YouTube. Do it. Say hi everybody. What's up YouTube? Uh, round three, we both kept seven. I am on the play. Let's go tap to Godless Shrine. Pass. Uh, let's draw for turn. We will play a Chef at Dunes. Ooh. I'm going to pay a life mm -hmm. to produce a white mana. And I'm going to start with a Kithian Hero Macros. You got it. Pass turn. All right. You are, I mean, even if you're on Let's castle lock queen. Yeah, enters the tab. And let's uh, push your kit. Yeah. Go ahead. That was not what I was hoping for, but we'll see how this goes. Going to pay another life. Mm -hmm. We're going to play a recruitment officer. Yep. Pass turn. Concede courtyard. Let's pay three for a prototype Phyrexian Flesh Forger. Yeah. And pass turn. Not what I was hoping for. We're going to play a Beauty Bolt. Mm -hmm. We're going to pay a life. We're a white. And we're going to play a Brutal Cathar and see how this bites me in the ass. Yep. Right on, right on. Combat swing too. Got it. 18. Yes, sir. Play Pathway. White. Oh, actually, uh, to target it, I do have to pay the three life. Oh, yes. The ward cost. So I will go down. No, nope. good catch. I appreciate that. <laughs> I tend to forget my own triggers, so, um, well, let's pay three to cast Touch of the Spirit Realm and exile your Brutal Cathar until it reaches the battle. Okay. Uh, so you get a 7-5. Yes. And then I will pass. Cool. You know what? Why not? Other land for turn. All right. Uh, I'm going to pay a life. Yep. To then pay seven life. Ooh. Three. That's going to be. So sorry. That's a good point. Out of six, right? And we're going to brutal cat. Right. Nice. Swing for two. Um. Yes, yeah, sir. Go to combat. Swing for two. In response. Yeah. Since a permanent I control left the battlefield, I will push your Cathar. Oh, yeah, it does leave the battlefield. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, good game. You got it. Game two. Oh, that's yours. Yeah, yeah. When, when you keep the <laughs> chef at Dunes hoping for a planes and never hit one, yeah. so rough, dude. Uh, I too braved the. Uh, I could have oh, braved it there, but. Um, I too braved the Elements Hand, but I would pay another life, and I still would have been at. Five with you having I don't know how much removal left. I mean, not be able to display it. Mm -hmm. um, I will most definitely be on the play. Sounds good. Yeah, those dunes are brutal. They're they're great when you have the other land, but it was, it was an incredibly great hand. It was um, two mutal faults mm -hmm. and a chef at dunes with one drops. I get the end of it. So it was a completely greedy hand from the get go, and the hope was to top deck of planes in the first two turns. So I quit burning myself. Right. It adds up it, quick. Yeah. But if, it, if I could have gotten that planes, I would have at least had the. I would be able to get the uh, recruitment officer out because I was also on my other hand. Yeah. Um, and that was really what the goal there was. Let's get the recruitment officer online and then hopefully just start churning out creatures. Because mm -hmm. again, two brave the elements. Yeah. That cover is 
back break. Yeah, and people say they come in pairs, and they sure do. They do. But if you cut one, then you'll never see it again. <laughs> All right, good luck, sir. You as well, hopefully no moments. You should really learn to actually don't take the moments as me to agree to from here. I can keep this. I will also keep. All right. Uh, planes? Mm -hmm. Hopeful in the ship. That's right. Tapped Godless Shrine. Go ahead. The tap. Draw. Two mana? Oh, yeah. Guardian mm -hmm. of the Raven. Mm -hmm. Swing one. Yep. Go wow, to 19. Yep. That's right. Yard. Mm -hmm. uh, pay two yep. to push your Thalia. Go for it. And go ahead. Uh, I, uh, I control eight planes, cast an Argo, and there's untapped. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah, so I will pay two. <laughs> play Thalia? Yep. And I'll swing one. Yeah. Yep. Go to 18. Pass turn. Planes. Uh, black, black color. Prototype Flesh Gorger. Yeah. And pass. Tap. Tap. Draw. 3-3. Three, three. Nice lifelink. And it just has ward. It is a, art, is it, it's a black creature because of prototype, correct? Yes. Good to know. Alright, trigger. So trigger. Um. That's. Uh. 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 Let's play Ganjo as our land for turn. Yep. Black, white, other. To pay the Thalia tax and Vanishing Burst Thalia response. I'm going to pay two. Uh, Bring the elements on black. Got it. Uh, and I will pass. Cool, cool. So, tap. Or you just Draw. That's why I did it before I swung. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, otherwise, I'm going to die. Um, <laughs> this is, I still, I'm going to do it. Three mana? Mm hmm. Adeline. Ooh, yes. Cathar Splendid. Her current power is three. Um, but your creature's still scary, so pass turn. All right. Hmm. While you are tapped out, yes, yes. pay two to push your Thalia. Thalia yeah, gets pushed. Um, and then I will move to combat Yep. and swing for three. Uh, I will take three. Okay, and I will gain three, go yep. to 21. And then I will pass turn. All right. Draw. We will land for turn. Mm -hmm. uh, we will tap that land. And we will play Dauntless Bodyguard for attacking Adeline. Targeting Adeline. I got it. I will then go to combat, mm -hmm. and we will swing. Yep. Creating a 1-1 one, one human, who is also tapped at attacking. Trigger, because of Adeline. He gets a 1-1 one, one counter. Uh, and she is up to 4 for her power. So that's I think 4, 5, 6, 7 coming seven. at you. 7. Yep, I'll take 7, go to 14. And pass turn. All right. Or the 
Yes. If you, so if you go searching, then the top part's going to drop. So, like, I got to figure out. I don't think there's any zero many cards. Like, no, no, there's any. I think that's right. Let's pay three uh -huh. for a prototype Steel Seraph. Okay. If you can't combat on your turn, target creature you control uh, gains your choice of flying, vision, life, life. Yes. And then I will move to combat, yep. give him vigilance. Okay. And attack for three. One open. I think the correct play will be to commit the bot since he's only the three. three. Okay. They're both fives. Um. So we'll hit the bodyguard first, but before damage, okay. I'll pay one to cast Undying Malice. Uh, okay. So when the creature dies, he comes back tapped with a 1-1 one, one counter. Okay. Um, just because that's how it's going to end up going now, the block's declared. Mm -hmm. I can stack to give it indestructible. Yeah. So, right on. Um, so, he will die. Yep. Uh, she does go, does go down to 1 to a 3-4, and then come back full size tapped with the counter. Yep. And say go. Land for turn, mutable. Go, oh, and I gain three life. Uh, the damage, yes. Yeah. No, it was not going to go back. Uh, three mana? Mm hmm. Brutal Cathar. Yep. He's full size this time. He is. I'm going to pay the seven life and, oh sorry, eight life and uh, go ahead and grab him. Right on. Counter's gone. I go down to nine. Mm -hmm. um, I will go to combat. Yep. Uh, you have a three three. I do. So I'm going to just swing everything and that will cause triggers. Yes. Uh, creation of another one one. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's actually vigilant. And he gets a trigger from Adeline being stronger than her. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then Adeline is now one, two, three, four, five. So five, eight, uh, eight nine, and ten. Okay, I will eat one of the tokens and okay. take nine. Go to right. eight. Yep. And pass turn. Okay. Oh, let's play a tapped Godless Shrine. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta go for it. Okay. Let's pay three to cast Touch of the Spirit Realm. Yeah. Targeting Brutal Cathar. Response. Yeah, I figured it was there. Brave the Elements on white. Right on. So. Um. <laughs> pass the turn. All right. On tap. Draw. Uh, you are at eight. One mana open. Uh, that is one. We're just gonna do it anyways. Gonna do it, try to be efficient. The Isle Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. uh, counters across the board. Uh, this goes up to three, and this one goes to one. So, assuming you block Adeline, obviously she is the biggest. That would be two. Sorry, one, three, seven. Well. Well, I mean, if you're gonna because you're gonna make a token. Uh, yes, assuming you block him, I didn't attack with Brutal Cathar. It's lethal if I oh, attack okay. Brutal Cathar. The, the the thought in my head is, oh, if you remove him, try to get the blocker, but if you do that, you're gonna do it before combat anyways, and so it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. So go to combat and we'll flunge with what I have, make triggers, create the citizen, uh, triggers on him to give him a 1-1 one, one counter, and Adeline is currently at, oh, trigger here, because yep. Adeline is larger, um, and that will, oh, that was the math I forgot to do too. That would've been one more. Um, Adeline is one, two, so. three, four, five, six, seven total power. So I'm clearly blocking Adeline, yes. and then that is three. Yeah. That's still, yeah, like, still lethal. Yeah, yeah. game two. Because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's lethal without <laughs> Brutal Cathar because I missed the trigger on Hopeful Initial. Don't forget.
forget that guy. I don't really care. I don't really care to see him again. <laughs> he he has been a bit of a mainstay in the first two games. <laughs> he's, he's a twelve of in the deck now. <laughs> I've paid eight, uh, 15, 18 life so far in the last two games yeah. just to target him. That ward really really yeah. adds up. I'm an aggro deck. If if I can't take a little bit to the chin and dish it back out, then it, it's not working. We're gonna do one more change. So we are out of play. It was like six power. I'm like, if, yeah. if I don't, it is just lethal for me. I had to put four blockers on it. It's a horrible draw. I was dead anyway. You think it's so big so fast. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's also back breaking. Yeah, it's my back. Sure. Um, yeah. I would like to keep my graveyard intact. Thank you very much. Yeah, I probably should have added my graveyard hate in with that. That was a silly thing for me not to do. Considering it would have helped to have my graveyard. Well, to be fair, he also didn't play the unlicensed hearse until the last game. Yeah. So I took out my my own. If you don't know it's yeah. there, there's really nothing you can do about it. Yeah. I don't know the decks they play it all that well, so. No, and you know our meta tends to be very odd. <laughs> the last time I came here, I was one of like five mono white decks. Yeah. It was miserable. It doesn't matter who came out on top of all the, the mono white decks. Yeah, the fact that I had uh, two mirror matchups in four rounds is rough. Yeah. Now we tend to be, I mean, you will occasionally see like some top meta decks, but most everybody's playing tier two stuff, you know, and everybody's trying to brew up new stuff all the yeah. time. I'm waiting for uh, the, for all will be one to drop. I want to see what that does to things that I have a, my more jank deck that I want to put together yeah. to get out here. Problem is, it's jank, but for some reason, half the deck are all cars worth like 30 bucks. I Major. will absolutely be attempting to put together a toxic deck. <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's very fair. Everybody will. Yeah, it, uh, we don't I, know if it'll be any good. Well, well, another thing people want to talk about what, what's there otherwise for 1 1 counter effects? Yeah. Because how much pull proliferate? And again, I mean, going at looking at white, I don't know how feasible it is, but that uh, Elish Norn. Mm hmm. I get, uh, I, I, uh, can't harm my friend, right? And you, you do not. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> and then, yeah, they're, those dominuses, I... All right. I will be on the play. Yes. Understandable. This should be good to shuffle by now. Let's hope. Good luck. Let's look for the Morgans. I want to say this on camera, that was three games in a row that I pulled exactly seven cards off the top. So nice. I may not come out on top, but I am on fire. <laughs> and I cannot keep this. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Knowing my luck, I'm going to regret keeping this, but I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Just gonna be on top then. Yeah. <sighs> I had too to many. Say something about yeah, yeah. See, just that's why you should have kept it. <laughs> you, had, you had to keep the streak alive. This we will keep, and we will. Bottom that. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go. Courtyard, pass. Draw for turn. Shiny planes for turn. And make a dude. Recruitment officer. All right. Pass turn. Uh, I will push him on your end step. How rude. Gotta do it. Untap. 
draw. Play a planes. Mm -hmm. Play a charming prince. ETB. Scry two, gain three life, or goes out and pops armory creature. I'm gonna scry. Understandable. Yeah. Go bottom top. Yes. Uh, and go ahead. We're going to go with a beautiful. Mm -hmm. Tap two. Blue Mark Casper. Yeah. We're going to go to combat. Yep. Put a one counter on her. And we're going to enter. All right. Kind of a push. No, oh, that's, that's what I'm expecting. She's like push. Um, well, let's I mean, it just she'd be dead. So yeah. <laughs> let's play a pathway on black. Yes. Um, A3 for Athreos. Got a passage. Well, as long as yep, devotion is seven. Another, another creature you control. Oh, and dies. Return to your handless and Okay. Yeah. Uh, move to combat. Yes. Swing for two. Uh, I will take two. Mm -hmm. And pass. Yeah, that's a lot to turn him on. <laughs> well, I mean, he's on by just being on the board. Oh, right. Well, we're going to play a planes for turn. We're going to pay one and activate a mutavolt. Mm hmm. Go to combat, pull one counter on her, mm -hmm. and we're gonna swing and hit you for five. Yep, 15. Pass turn. Draw. Yeah. Play a planes. Pay three. Yes. Prototype Flesh Gorger. Of course. Pass a turn. Draw for turn. Uh, we are going to play a Mutable as land for turn. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pay two. Mm -hmm. And I just don't like him, so we're decking him in stone. I will pay the three life. Right on. Uh, 15. So let's exile him and... and any of all the creatures uh, that share the same name, you investigate for each creature exile this way. Each non-token. So you so will I investigate. Will investigate with, uh, for him. Make a clue. Do I have my clue token here? Yeah, we'll just... Yes. I'll clue token. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, I will then go to combat. Mm -hmm. Trigger. Yep. This will go to uh, three. She's a four, four. I will swing for uh, four damage, I guess. Okay. I will chump with the Charming Prince. Yeah. Uh, and when he will die, he will go back to my hand unless you pay three life. One current hand, yeah? Yes. I'll pay three and go to oh, okay. 12. All right. Uh, and that will be my turn. Yeah, turn. No. Pay three for a prototype Steel Seraph. Yes. And pass the turn. All right. Untap. Just trying to think it through a little bit here. Um, I just apparently have a thing for it. So, mutable? Mm hmm. That's a lot of mutables. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a three of mutables there. Uh, I'm just looking at my table here. That was a game, there's no doubt in that. Yeah, yeah. yes. If I turn one on, oh, that gives me a three. You're at 15. I do need to keep hitting you, but I think it's more important to do it this way. I'm going to go to combat. Mm -hmm. Put a 1-1 one -one counter onto... Uh, 
<laughs> the one with power on her. So mm -hmm. to clear attackers. Yes, we have still two. Right, let's see. Yeah, I will go to combat and swing five. Um, I'll take the five. Okay, go to ten. Uh, all right. Uh, and I will pass her. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm actually contemplating. Let's go to combat. Yes. I will give him lifelink. Yes. And swing for three in the air. Uh, response. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am going to pay three mana and uh, channel a ganja to deal four damage. Response. Yes. I will. Sorry. I forgot to flip this back over here. Yeah. Uh, pay one to cast Malakir Rebirth. Yes. Uh, so I will lose two life, mm -hmm. and until end of turn, it comes back tapped. Understandable. Uh, but no damage, so no lifelink. Yep. Um, so I will go to eight. Yep. And he will come back big, tapped. Yes. And then attempt to vanishing verse your aspirin. And that will be the Brave the Elements on white. Yep. Uh, uh, go ahead. Right. Untap. That's and this is the what we call the March of the Mutavolts. Yeah. We're going to tap three white mana to turn three mutal vaults into creatures. And we're going to plunge and just for the, on the start of the combat trigger, just for the fun of it, we'll put it on one of the mutal vaults. put the counter on the mutal vaults. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Good games, man. Good games, man. Yeah.